For the first time in human history, a groundbreaking technology has been tested and proven in space, artificial photosynthesis. This revolutionary advancement, achieved aboard China's Tiangong Space Station, has the potential to transform space exploration forever. Imagine producing oxygen for astronauts and rocket fuel for spacecraft directly in orbit. We'll uncover how this technology works, why it's so revolutionary, and what it means for humanity's quest to conquer the cosmos. The future of space just got a lot closer. So, how did the Shenzhou-19 crew pull off this extraordinary achievement? Let's break it down. Artificial photosynthesis is a process that mimics how plants convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into energy. But instead of leaves and chlorophyll, scientists use advanced semiconductor catalysts to achieve the same result in space. For the first time, these catalysts were tested in orbit under microgravity conditions aboard the Tiangong space station. Using a drawer-shaped apparatus, astronauts converted carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and ethylene, a hydrocarbon that can be used to make rocket fuel. This is no small feat. It required precise control of gas and liquid flows in a microgravity environment, as well as the real-time monitoring of chemical reactions. What's truly special about this technology is its efficiency. Traditional methods of generating oxygen in space, like electrolysis, require significant amounts of energy. On the International Space Station, for example, oxygen production consumes nearly a third of the total energy used by life support systems. In contrast, this new method operates at room temperature and pressure, drastically reducing energy consumption. The versatility of this system is another game changer. By tweaking the catalysts, scientists can produce not just oxygen and ethylene, but other valuable compounds like methane or formic acid, which can serve as building blocks for further chemical synthesis. The apparatus is also designed for in-orbit upgrades, allowing for continued experimentation and optimization. This achievement is not just about efficiency, it's about possibility. It shows that humanity can develop sustainable technologies that work in extreme environments, paving the way for long-term missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. And what's more exciting? This is just the beginning of what artificial photosynthesis could achieve in space. The implications of this achievement are staggering. Space exploration is expensive, prohibitively so. A significant portion of the cost comes from launching heavy payloads like oxygen and fuel. But with artificial photosynthesis, these essential resources can be produced on site, slashing costs and opening up new possibilities for exploration. Let's consider the immediate benefits. For astronauts on long duration missions, such as a lunar base or a journey to Mars, Oxygen is a non-negotiable resource. Carrying enough from Earth isn't just costly, it's impractical. This technology solves that problem by turning a waste product, carbon dioxide, into life-sustaining oxygen. Its efficiency and sustainability rolled into one. But it doesn't stop there. The ability to produce ethylene and other hydrocarbons in space means we can refuel spacecraft without needing to return to Earth. This is a critical step towards self-sufficient missions where spacecraft can use in such a resources to extend their operational range. Imagine a future where lunar outposts have their own fuel production facilities, enabling missions to explore deeper into the solar system. China's development of this technology isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a larger vision that includes landing astronauts on the moon by 2030 and building the International Lunar Research Station in collaboration with Russia's Roscosmos. This station is expected to host a permanent human presence on the moon by 2035, and innovations like artificial photosynthesis will be critical for its success. What makes this technology particularly exciting is how it aligns with humanity's broader goals in space. It's not just about exploring other worlds, it's about thriving there. By creating a self-sustaining ecosystem, we can reduce our dependency on Earth and increase the feasibility of establishing permanent human settlements in space. So why does this matter to you? Because this breakthrough is a step closer to making humanity a multi-planetary species. It's not just a scientific milestone. It's a symbol of what we can achieve when we push the boundaries of innovation. Up next, let's explore how this positions China and the global space community for the future. This milestone has positioned China as a frontrunner in sustainable space technology, and it's sending ripples through the global space community. 
While other nations, like the United States, focus on technologies such as electrolysis for oxygen production, China has leapfrogged ahead with a method that is more energy efficient and versatile. The global implications are significant. As space agencies and private companies race to establish a foothold on the Moon and Mars, the ability to produce essential resources in space could become a key differentiator. This technology aligns perfectly with plans for long-term human presence on the Moon, including NASA's Artemis program and international collaborations on the Lunar Gateway. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is its adaptability, the apparatus used in the Tiangong experiments can be upgraded in orbit, allowing scientists to test new catalysts and reactions. This flexibility ensures that the technology will continue to evolve, meeting the demands of future missions and even unforeseen challenges. China's collaboration with Roscosmos on the International Lunar Research Station is another example of how this breakthrough fits into a larger strategy. The station, set to begin construction by 2028, will need robust life support systems to sustain human crews in the Moon's harsh environment. Artificial photosynthesis could be a cornerstone of this effort, providing oxygen and fuel while minimizing reliance on Earth. But the impact isn't limited to national space programs. Private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are also likely to benefit from these advancements. The ability to produce rocket fuel in space could make commercial space travel more feasible and affordable, bringing us closer to a future where space is accessible to everyone. In short, this breakthrough is a testament to the power of innovation and international collaboration. It's a reminder that the challenges of space exploration are universal, and solving them requires a collective effort. As we look to the stars, this achievement is a beacon of what's possible when humanity works together to overcome the impossible. This milestone in artificial photosynthesis isn't just a technical achievement. It's a leap toward a sustainable, multi-planetary future. By producing oxygen and rocket fuel in space, we're addressing two of the biggest challenges in exploration, resource limitations and high costs. It's a glimpse into a future where astronauts can thrive far beyond Earth, supported by self-sustaining ecosystems. China's achievement highlights the power of innovation and the importance of global collaboration in reaching for the stars. As we move closer to establishing permanent human settlements in space, breakthroughs like this bring us one step closer to realizing humanity's ultimate dream, thriving among the stars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.